Okay guys, so I'm fl flipping the camera around so that I can show you the approach to the market and some of the items inside the market. So, Yo, Black Dog Fire, hey! First, I'm going to show you the meat section yeah, where I purchase my beef and chicken and pork and so on. This is the most chaotic part of the city as far as traffic goes. But if you live down here, you get used to it. You know, you just you know how to get in and out. And and you end up just getting energized from being in the crowds. This is cane sugar. How much is a cane? 240 cane juice. That's cane juice. These guys would squeeze and chill cane. Okay, so this is the Sabrook Market. We're entering the meat section of the market. This is where I get my chicken from. Chicken, pork, the beef. Morning. What's the chicken? What's the price of chicken today? 580 a pound. I used to buy, I bought whole chicken here a few days ago. Here I think it was. What's the price of the pork today? This is where I bought my pork and beef. What's the price of the beef today? Huh? What's the price of the beef today? What do you want to buy today? I know, telling the people about inflation. Telling the people? About inflation. Oh, I see. So this wow. is beef. They got different prices. How much for the beef? They got 660. 660 a pound. And pork? Eight hundred pounds for the steaks, and what's the price of the pork? Pork is um different prices. Yeah, I paid what? You got six. Leg pork. Leg yeah. pork is seven. Leg pork is seven. And the chops. Pork chops. Yeah. Six forty and six eighty. Six forty and six eighty. And what's the price of these whole chickens? Whole chicken is um five forty a pound. Five forty a pound. I'm gonna come back and get one of these whole chicken. So this is a pickled chicken. How much for the um, that's a pickled chicken, right? How much? Six sixty a pound. With salt pita. All right, so that's the pork, beef, and chicken section in the market. Some more over here. There's a Muslim. Buttery, you can get some halal products, we so halal. Halal beef and pork, these are some more pork and vegetables here in the market. This is some food, the food section. These are clothes, clothes section in the market. And then in the middle, some more food. Food section in the market to get, you know, some snacks. And all on there. And in the middle here, you get phones. You get some jewelry. This is the dry goods. What's the price of the potatoes? Hundred dollars a pound. Hundred dollars a pound for potatoes. And the garlic? One one sixty. 160 a pound for the garlic. So the, the potato, the price of potatoes has not changed. 100 dollars a pound for potatoes is in fact what they were last year. So that's what I mean. Sometimes the prices are exactly the same as they were. This is some more snacks. Looking beautiful. Shoes. So the food section is scattered throughout the market. Promise to bring. Sorry. Hello. I'm packing and clothes. So the food and the clothes are mixed, scattered throughout the market. The point here is though that the products, the vegetables, the food, the vegetables, these products are unchanged. What's the price of these? What's the price of Adidas? What's the price of the Adidas? 8.5? You have sizes? Size 9 say? Of course, I'm going to come back and get me one. So, 
$8,500 for a pair of Adidas. And that's about, what, 40, 45, about $45 US, which is not a bad price for Adidas here in Georgetown. Again, you have some digital products, phones, glasses. Then these are the... Jewelry sections, phones, a lot of phones in the, a lot of phone stores here in the market. Another repair store, the trinkets. So guys, just based on the meat market, the meat section, the fabric market, and a couple of vegetables that I inquired. The price of vegetables fluctuates, but today, potatoes. Oh, and and I a pound potato, man. Only two hundred dollars a pound potato. Yeah, buy my food. Buy him. He buy a veggie meat thing and he buy it. One hundred dollars a pound of potatoes. Vegetables. Now the vegetable section is outside the market. It's a bit chaotic, so I'm not going to go through uh, vegetable section just to show you that this is what's happening here. These are vegetables. Five hundred and forty dollars for a piece of pumpkin. These are snacks. In this section of market, you can get a lot of the items you can get in the supermarket. But these are like overstocked. The items here tend to be... Okay, so here we see some Boro. $200 a bundle. These items, you could probably get them in the supermarket for a much higher price. So this is the way of arbitrage. People, for example, get these items from the wholesale stores. Items that you could normally get in the supermarket. You get them from the wholesale store and you get them here in the, this part of the market for about the same price or less than you can get them in the supermarket. There you have peppers, $100 a parcel. Peppers are up to about $600, $700. Here is $350 a pound. Tomatoes, $260 a pound. Here you have ginger, is about $800 a pound and two, two for $100, that's the cucumbers are two for $100. This section is the fish market. I'm not going to go in and show you. So that's the Demerara River out there. Demerara River. So this is the fish section of the market. We've seen this in a previous video. I'm not going to ask about fish. Hey guys. It leads me to confirm what I said before, that the price of um, products in the market are now about 33%, on average, 33% higher than they were a year ago. 50% in the case of, say, beef and pork, 50, 60 sometimes more, 75% higher than they were a year ago. Mike, like the... Beef steaks are about $700 a pound and certain cuts of pork are also much higher than the regular ordinary cuts. But certain items like potatoes and onions are about the same as they were last year. So onions and potatoes are on change, but beef and pork are now 50% 100%, 75% higher. And when you make an average, this is just my empirical average of the items that were on change and the items that have increased in price. The average, in my estimation, is about 33% higher. So that's what's happening here, guys, in Starbuck Market. Inflation rate, by my empirical estimate, is about 33%, could be as high as 
but it's certainly not as high, say, as places like Argentina or Venezuela or other South American countries. Meanwhile, the value of the Guyana dollar has, hold, has held steadily, has held steady for the past year. And right now, as of yesterday, the exchange rate was $209. In fact, it was $200 last month. So the value had increased 30 days ago. But today, a month later, it's gone back up. That is, the value of the Guyana dollar has returned to what it was a year ago. It's still at $209. Nine two hundred and ten dollars to one US dollar. So that's what's happening here, guys. If you want to see more content like this? Click like and subscribe. This market continues all along Water Street, all the way up to um, the soap powder. Wait, I'll come back. <laughs> come back and get me some. Soap powder is now cheaper than it, it was last year so certain items especially the items in the supermarket so you really can't go by the supermarket prices you can't really go down the aisle of the supermarket and judge the inflation from the prices of the items there but if you come out here on the streets and see the prices of so those are imported grapes and apples and so on those are probably going to be inflated because they're perishable and because they're imported but if you come out here on the streets and check the prices that people in the street, the man in the street, ordinary people are paying for items, you'll find that some items are actually a lot cheaper than they are in the supermarket. Some items are about the same, but on average, the inflation rate, I would say is about 50% or less. My average, my estimation is about 33%. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. In the comments below, comment on the inflation rate in your neck of the woods and what you think it is compared to Guyana. And share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later.